here with uh, Utah State linebacker David Woodward. David, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. So, um, I guess let me start start here. You're my you're my first uh, interview and everything, but a lot has been made of all the newcomers. You know, there's a lot of new new faces in the room over there. I'm mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, new staff. Everything's kind of new, but at the same time, you look through and there's a lot of guys that are maybe just starting this year that were here last year and got some playing time. So how much is that? How much of that? What has that been like, I guess? And how much is that kind of overblown maybe by some people? Um, it's obviously a little different when you get new coaches, but yeah. um, a lot of us who have been here have been used to that. Every year, a couple of coaches leave. I've had, I think, three different positions, three different coaches in my position since I've been here. And so I think it's blown up a little bit. But the new guys, we do have a young team this year. Um, with a lot of freshmen coming in. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there's a lot of returners from last year and um, a lot of veteran guys in the more important positions like quarterback and uh, running back and stuff like that. So, Cool. So um, tell me a little bit about – well, I guess let's go, to, let's go back to last year. Did you feel like you kind of – um, flew under the radar. It seemed like uh, you, know, you led the led the league in a lot of categories and different things like that. You were, I think, player of the week and different things. Uh, but then you were kind of named second team. So do you feel like you kind of flew under the radar last year and now you're kind of getting more of that publicity? Or how has that kind of gone? Yeah, I think maybe I did fly under the radar a little bit um, in terms of like the Mountain West. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this year I think I'm getting a little more recognition. But just got to prove it this year and show that I'm that type of player. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about kind of the changes of the defense. It seems like, um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit different than, uh, than last year. I think, uh, you know, last year one of the major changes was kind of moving Rockmore into kind of an outside linebacker, even though he was practically a safety, mm-hmm. and they kind of did a few things differently. What do you, what do you see this year? Um, we're keeping a little bit of what we did last year, probably like half the type of stuff since that worked really well, but Ennis came in and changed some things. We're going to do a little more what he does, more of a gaps defense. So it's going to be a little different, but we're going to keep a lot of what we did last year. Yeah. What do you expect from kind of the defensive back has kind of been, especially recently, we've kind of, um, heard a lot about, uh, you know, guys leaving, brand new guys, maybe having to step up. What do you expect from those defensive backs? You. I expect improvement this year. I think we got a lot of newer guys coming in, but I think early on this season it'll show how uh, how talented those players are. Yeah, and what about in front of you? It sounds like um, Coach Anderson talked a little bit about you know some of your schemes literally just are trying to keep the blockers off you and you can go and make, make plays. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you expect from those guys up front? I expect them to do what they did last year, keep the, keep the big O line off me. Um, Pretty much the whole same D lines back, and they're they're all veterans. So hopefully they can do the same thing they did last year and let me get a lot of tackles. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whatever works, right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, so the uh, defensive end position has kind of changed. Do Do you expect to see a little bit different play from Tipa and Justice, or how's that kind of changed? Um, that's moved from more of a outside linebacker position to more of a D line now. So people will probably pass rush a little more and probably get some more sacks, but besides that, it'll be kind of similar. Perfect. What, um, what kind of differences have you seen from this year's team? I, I know, you know, obviously some of the leaders change. You got somebody last year, like Quinn Ficklin and different people like that, that are definitely big personalities. Mm-hmm. What have you seen from this year's team so far? Um, obviously the start's a little different with the new guys coming in. It takes a little bit longer to mold and uh, get to know each other, but I'm guessing by the end of fall camp, it'll be, we'll be all close like we were last year. Okay. Perfect. Um, tell me a little bit about your, uh, kind of, I guess, growing up. It seemed like you were kind of a multi-position, multi-sport athlete growing up. Is that kind of how you, how you started playing football and, and kind of, did that help you improve yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. I think playing multiple sports definitely does help with football and, I mean, all different aspects of being athletic and stuff like that. I played football, basketball, baseball, and then also did track in high school. So I think doing all the different sports helps you with different aspects of football that you wouldn't really think about. 
tell us a little bit, um, you know, maybe just kind of in, in uh, kind of finishing up, what, what are you, what are you studying at Utah State? What do you want to, what do you want to do? What are your future goals and aspirations? I'm studying business marketing. I know I want to do something in business since I'm done with football, but I still haven't narrowed it down to exactly what I want to do, but something, something that has to do with business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you're, you're a junior. So how much, uh, kind of, is this, I guess, how much does that kind of make a difference as far as, uh, taking advantage of kind of the last two years of your eligibility? Um, just kind of finishing my class and make sure I pass everything so I can get maybe a head on if I want to get a master's or something like that. But just taking it more serious now that I'm at the end. Yeah. Um, football, you have less games. Um, I only got two more seasons left, so just taking advantage of everything I get, every opportunity. And how much, um, you know, we, we kind of mentioned it in, with Coach Anderson, but defenses or offenses have really – evolved over the years i mean you may play one or two teams that that are kind of smash mouth type of physical offenses and pretty much the whole schedule is filled with spread spread so yeah. how does that kind of play into your strengths and uh how does that play into uh you know preparing each week for different teams i think playing a passing team plays in my strengths a lot because i'm more of a coverage linebacker and I'm fast, so I can cover the receivers and all that type of stuff. So I think nowadays football's adapted. So, I mean, to kind of heighten everything I do. So I think back in the day, it would have been harder for me to be be a linebacker. I probably had to play safe or something like that. But yeah. nowadays, I think the linebacker position is perfect. So, so, um, so right now you're you're about two thirty five or mm -hmm. yeah. So you you don't feel like I mean as you get bigger do you do you lose some of that speed or do you think two thirty five is kind of that sweet spot where you have your speed and strength or I always get that question you know because yeah. do you want a bigger linebacker do you want a faster linebacker yeah. there's always that I think for me two thirty five is the sweet spot um, I think I've gotten faster since I've been here do all the strength stuff and the speed work we do and I think it just depends on how you gain your weight if you lose body fat or keep the same body fat then it uh, it's going to make you better. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Is there any um, kind of, you know, Utah State is definitely, it seems like, you know, gone from one linebacker to the next. There's there's a bunch of linebackers in the in the NFL. Was that a something that drew you to Utah State? And is that something that you kind of feel like you, you want to continue forward and kind of live up to those expectations? Um, that's something I definitely want to continue. But in terms of me coming here, I think, one of the biggest reasons I came in was the strength staff and knowing that I was a smaller guy coming in, so I'd have to gain a lot of weight and gain the right weight. So I think that was a bigger reason. And then once I got here, just learning the legacy of the linebackers and stuff. Yeah. And then you're one of the inside linebackers. There's another inside linebacker that, that'll be, you know, really a new starter. What have you seen from some of those guys over there? Maybe uh, Micah or Kevin that, that what do you expect to see from that, that position? Um, I expect to see them all fighting for a starting spot in fall camp, all of us. Uh, all of us trying to get better. and I expect a big jump from uh, Micah and Kevin. Good season from them. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I think that's, uh, that's all my questions.